Uh, so I was actually here uh, 2020. Uh, yeah, 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 I was on the taxi squad, but now I get to play, do everything. Uh, it's been awesome. You know, the clubhouse is amazing. Uh, the playing surface is top notch. It's, it's been great so far. And I wanted to ask you uh, as well. And what is it like to be teammates with Juan Soto, and what, 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 what's he, yeah. and what he's doing right now? <laughs> uh, it's it's amazing to watch him work. Uh, I was talking about it earlier, just seeing the way he works, the way he prepares in the training room, in the weight room. Uh, you know, it's top notch. It's it's stuff that, you know, you look at the success on the field. It's you know, you don't you don't question it because he's preparing. So it's a lot of fun to watch him. Stacked with with, with superstar outfielders as well. What was it like to be teammates with Mookie Betts as well? Oh, Mookie was cool. Uh, obviously, I was over there for a really, really short time. Uh, but it was a lot of fun just getting to know some of those guys. Uh, you know, they expect the best out of you, uh, young guy or not, over there. And um, it was a lot of fun being in that culture, uh, you know. But I'm really excited for the opportunity over here in D.C. to, you know, re build with these guys, uh, a lot of young guys, and, and you go out there and become a better pitcher every fifth day. And that's the goal every fifth day, go out there, execute my pitches, and uh, lead the team to a win. Speaking of yourself, I, I've noticed, you know, you've taken a huge a leap forward this year. What has been um, the difference for you? And do um, you feel you're really unlocking your potential this year? Yeah, I definitely think uh, every outing, you know, I'm continuing to work, continue to re refine my stuff. But for me this year, it's kind of just going in with the confidence of trusting my stuff. Um, you know, there are so many outings in, the, in, a, in a year to where, you know, you can question your stuff, you can question your confidence. But, you know, this year I've tried to just reinforce that, knowing that my stuff is good enough to play in this league. Um, kind of just going out there that with, I'm going to get that hitter out. You know, I'm going to execute my game plan, execute that pitch. And if I don't, you know, I'm going to move on to the next hitter and next pitch. So kind of this mentality of, you know, no pitch is more important than the next. Kind of just taking it a pitch at a time. And that's led to a lot of success this year. And I know it'll lead to success uh, years down the road. Thank you maybe fans or people don't appreciate the mental side of baseball enough and 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 what has been the mental side for you and as, as are, are you hinting that that may have been the difference as well yeah, i think um a lot of what we see now is the mental side is so important uh especially out there as a pitcher you know that you're out there by yourself on the mound so it's kind of like if you can't control the way you're thinking you know a lot of the times basically those negative results those negative thoughts you know they can cloud your mind and they can uh, kind of just lead you down the wrong path. So just trying to tailor my mind to positive thoughts, positive results, and it's helped a lot. But, you know, that mental side, it's, it's definitely trying in this game because, you know, like I said, you'll go out there feeling your best sometimes and you might not go two innings. But you'll go out there and won't feel good and you can go six or seven. Um, so just understanding the mentality that goes through this game and through pitching is, is so important. And I wanted to ask you too, what was your... MLB moment, so to speak, but you're, where you realized, hey, I'm here in the show and I belong in the show? Uh, kind of, I guess, this year, you know, opening day. Uh, first opening day, obviously, against the stacked Mets um, in front of a sold-out crowd. I was facing Max Scherzer. He was on the other, other side. Obviously, we got traded for each other. Um, just that was probably the biggest moment I've had to date, just having all those fans cheering for me. Um, outing didn't go as great as I wanted it to, but uh, just that was probably the, the big MLB moment. And, you know, ever since then, you know, I've kind of just continued to get uh, more comfortable out there on the mound, trusting my stuff and going out there with the best attitude, best mentality, and, you know, just looking for that success and continuing to build off that. All right, we'll get you out of here on a, a fun, serious one. Uh, your, your pick for the greatest baseball movie of all time and why? Oh, man, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, growing up, honestly, we watched Sandlot a lot, uh, so I'd have to go one of the Sandlots. Uh, you know, it's easy to watch, it's not too serious, everyone can watch it. Um, you know, I, I would say everyone that follows baseball has at least seen one of them, uh, so I'd say the Sandlot, Sandlot number one and the Sandlot series in general. Right on. Really appreciate the time, thank you. For sure, thank you.